Mm. Are you ready for some viewer listener questions? Let's go. All right, everybody's involved. How do people follow you on social media if you've got any room left because you've got too many followers? So what's all your social accounts? (laughs) They're just my name, Joshua.Cavallo. So So that's Instagram, Twitter. You're on TikTok? Twitter. I haven't got TikTok. No, I don't have TikTok. Um, but um, I think I'm too old for TikTok. I'm 37. Do you reckon I'm too old? No, nah, you're not too old, mate. You look about 25. So yeah, but right. look at this. Do you, how how about oh, my head? Oh, it looks about 55. Yeah, <laughs> put that back on, bro. <laughs> Damn it. I got burnt yesterday. Well. The hard thing is when you're bored and you, you know you can't hide getting a sunburnt head. It's not funny, Josh. Shut up. Vito joined the club the other day. Yeah, what a legend. <laughs> Football director gave him a cuddle and said, welcome to the club. I was already telling him what about like shaving because I don't – I've got hair on other parts of my body, so I just shave that because I can't get hair. You don't need to know this. All right, let's go. Um, so this is from someone on Twitter. Um, how do you hope uh, your focus – will change now without mm-hmm. carrying the weight on your shoulders. So you now you can specifically focus on football. Yeah, that's why I'm so excited to step on the field on Saturday because I honestly don't know. Look, we had that practice game up in Brisbane, but that was all still new to me. That was only a couple of days when I made the announcement. So, um, yeah, look, the practice games we're having, and even in training, you know, the coaches have said to me, Josh, we've seen you develop so much in three, four weeks already, and it's just been, it's been crazy to hear that. And I, I don't notice a change, but I just know that when I'm on the field that my mind's free and I can mm. think differently and I, and something that I'm, I'm familiar with because six years of hiding this and thinking about this and thinking about, you know, unfortunately when I was on the field, I was thinking about what I'm going to say in the change room to my mates or, or things I'm going to cover up if they're going to add up. So I don't have to worry about that now and I can focus fully on football and, and it's just amazing to do that. And it's so simple. Like you should have been doing that growing up. But for me to realise that now, it's only going to enhance, improve my game and, and I'm really excited to see what happens. Um, I don't want to downplay the importance of what you did, but as a guy who went bald, right, and was losing his hair, and it's not funny, it's not funny, but I tell you what, that was a huge weight. <laughs> On my shoulders. Because every time you're out there, you like, do people notice that I'm losing my hair? And it it, change, it affects you. It's obviously not as uh, powerful as the weight on your shoulders. But once that's gone, once I shave my head, I felt liberated. Can you stop laughing? you got gorgeous hair, man. you got... Uh, you... Uh, I'll, I'll save you some of my hair. Oh, I'll, shut I'll up, man. Far out. <laughs> hey, you said you can run all day. How far do you run in a game on your GPS? Does that track? Yeah, so we run... I run from probably... 11 to 14 K. Oh, that's so disgusting. It depends what type of game it is and how we go, but yeah. Yuck. <laughs> um, okay, so Braden L 99 on Twitter, what do you feel is your best position, midfield or left back? And then he says, don't say the cliche answer of wherever the coach wants me to play. <laughs> nah, honestly, I feel like I'm developing more as, as a left back. And look, um, if you look at left backs across the world, there's not many of them. Mm. And it's something that I can um, set myself out from the world and, and be good at. You know, if I can um, end up having a good season, I could look at being a Socceroos left back. And, and that's something that I dreamed of doing as a kid. And I think that's very achievable after this season. Do you, like, when you are born and you start playing football as a junior, do you always start with your right foot or have you always been left foot? Always left foot, like Always. just naturally when the ball came, just went but okay. my lefty. Yeah, it wasn't something that I trained, it just happened naturally. Lewis dot Tong twenty three on Instagram. Have you ever been rejected at a trial? And if so, how did you bounce back? That's actually a good question because there's a lot of players that trial at clubs and stuff. Have you trialed at clubs and they've said no? So my first trial was at Adelaide United. Okay, my whole career. Um, coming here, it was, it was a three day trial, and I was just ready to show. Carl and Ross, what I had in stock. So there wasn't me doubting myself at any time. And I think that's important as a footballer. You know, you've got to go full focus and focus on the positives. And, and, and that's what happened. You know, within two days, I was already signing my contract here. And I was, I was excited to continue. And it's just something that, um, yeah, look, it's just like anything in life. You, you can look at the negatives, but if you just look at the positives and focus on it, negatives won't happen. Mm, okay. Um, let's go to what's your favorite movie? This one's on social media. Do you have a movie that yeah, you like? Yeah, Hunger Games. Oh yeah, yeah I watched the first them. one of that, and I wasn't I wasn't sure. So, you, which one's the best one out of them? The first one is the best. Um, the there's three. Mm. Uh, I actually watched them about two weeks ago again. I've watched them on repeat. I've honestly probably watched them each twenty times. So it's I'm quite bit, violent, bit, isn't it? It is violent. Yeah, yeah, it's not for everyone. But I should I, I watch like, it with my kids? Probably not. Okay, no, no. <laughs> put them to bed first, then watch it. That's <laughs> <Okay. laughs> nah, a good movie. I love it. Okay, um, have you used your new FIFA card? This is on social media. No, I haven't used my What does that mean? What's the FIFA card? You can put that in Ultimate Team, can you? Yeah, so there's uh, 
obviously when I came out, there was a card that everyone could achieve, and it, it was a decent 74 rated, so it was actually looked half okay. And um, no, I haven't gotten around to playing FIFA yet, and um, maybe when the dust settles a bit, I'll, I'll be excited to see how I am. Someone on Twitter wants to know, who do you model your football game on? Um, I would say Marcelo. Um, I try to do it. Obviously, I'm not as skillful as him, but like going forward, I, I like to be as much of a threat as what he is, and, and he brings a lot to the team, and that's something that I want to do this year. I don't just want to participate. I want to be a, a main player and assist. I know I've got it in me to assist more than what I did last year. So He's got beautiful hair just like you. Um, <laughs> Simon F. Keith on Instagram, do you have a favourite pub or bar or restaurant in Adelaide that you go to? Look, I don't go out much in Adelaide. Um it's just purely based because I, I live on my own and we have short turnarounds and stuff like that. So um, I'll be excited to go to a pub or a club mm. or in the, in the near future, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. In the off season, obviously, because yeah. you're not allowed to go out during the <laughs> season. Max Tavella on Instagram. What's your favourite thing about Adelaide United? The unity. The environment, how we're all family, and it doesn't matter where you come from or, or, or what you believe in, you know, everyone's welcome to you. And that's just why I love it so much being a, an Adelaide United player. Uh, and... How does it compare to Melbourne, where you're originally from? But answer that nicely, because obviously you, you want to be respectful <laughs> yeah, to no, your former okay. clubs. Uh, look, it's um, this culture is something that doesn't come around very often. You know, I don't think I think there'll be a handful of clubs around the world that have the same culture as us, and it's it's something that attracted me coming here. You know, when I was seeing Adelaide United in the FFA Cup, and you can just see from an outside view and how how warm and welcoming they are, how much they respect each other, how happy the boys generally are, like win or losing. Like, it, it's, it's nice to see. That's something I just wanted to be a part of. And finally, uh, Char underscore Langley on Instagram, if you could play for any professional club overseas, who would it be? Borussia Dortmund. Okay. <laughs> My favourite team. Bessart Borussia Dortmund. Um, Josh, <laughs> we're going to give you um, a Sharpie and we're get get you to sign this Flinders University home playing shirt with a UCAN on it because um, we're going to give that away at the end of the season. So if you can sign that, um, for the people who are listening to the Pitch Podcast right now, um, you can share this. Please give it a review and rate it and make sure everybody knows about it. For the people watching as well, thank you very much for that. Um, as I said at the start, this is a great opportunity to get our fantastic members of the Adelaide United family, whether they are in the A-League men's, women's, youth or the uh, Red Army and supporters and stuff, Last weekend was awesome because the community is tighter than it has ever been and um, it's people like you, mate, who have done such a courageous thing which has inspired other people and I'm really glad today we got to talk about football too because the focus is this weekend. Congratulations on your career so far. It was exciting to see you last season, mate, and that was such a well-deserved award and now moving into this season, um, we know you have so much unfinished business and you're just getting started. So, Josh, thanks for joining us on the Pitch Podcast and Mate, congratulations on how you've carried yourself, man. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm excited for the future. We're going to cut out all the bald jokes as well. (laughs) Anyway, thanks. And cut. (laughs)